Hey, welcome to the VHF UHF channel and we are on our second video for the VHF and UHF amateur radio bands. Uh, like I said in the first video, the amateur radio bands are often something that we come across um, quite fast in our scanning with uh, our new little radios. This video will focus on the 2 meter amateur radio band 144 to 148 megahertz. This is the most popular band on VHF. Uh, of all the bands that amateur radio operators have above 30 megahertz, I think this is the most widely used band, the one with the most activity um, if you uh, live near a big city or, you know, an area where there's a lot of people, I think you'll have lots of repeaters and lots of communications on this band. So if you want to have the complete, uh, you know, band planned, then go to www.arrl.org slash band dash plan, as you see here on the upper left in my address bar. This is where you'll get the full band plans of the amateur radio bands. Uh, be warned, these are US band plans. I'm using those an ex as an example, but um, they differ from certain countries in the world. So 144 to 148 hosts a lot of signal. The first megahertz, 144 to 145, is mostly for um, stuff like uh, single sideband, uh, CW, weak signal stuff. Uh, most of these are very, 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 um, require actually a, a, a single sideband communications receiver. So not all scanners are in this category. If you do, though, uh, go and scan the first megahertz in single sideband, you'll hear a lot of uh, stuff on this band. And because single sideband signals actually travel so far, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> you will have um, probably the best uh, distances with that. Then starting from 145 and up, 145 to 148, is in general FM mode. So you'll have lots of FM repeaters. Uh, repeaters are cool because they help you get more distance from a uh, frequency. For example, in VHF, it's line of sight. If you uh, use what's called simplex, it means that you're typically line of sight with the other operator and the power you use also will really help you have more distance. And to increase this coverage and distance, they actually have implemented on the amateur radio bands what we call repeaters. Repeaters actually have an input frequency and an output frequency. So basically you'll talk at one frequency, go into the repeater, and the repeater will rebroadcast on another frequency. And that's why most um, amateur transceivers have dual frequency operation. And this increases the range. So for example, here in Montreal, one of the, my favorite repeaters is the um, RXW, v, VE2 RXW repeater on Mont Rougemont. Uh, that is about 30, 35 miles uh, south, southeast of Montreal. But a station that would be like 20 or 30 miles further away can go through the repeater, and which means that I can hear someone that would be 70 miles away, uh, thanks to the repeater output that is much stronger. And most repeaters are atop of very tall buildings or atop mountains. So there's a lot of activity going on on the 145 to 148 in FM mode. So this will probably be your one of your favorite FM um, or amateur radio bands if you have a regular scanner that cannot go into single sideband mode. So if you are only FM, this is probably the best amateur radio band. And uh, it's a great band to listen to because it's a great way to learn about the hobby. Because a lot of the communications you'll hear will be, you know, just chit chat. And uh, I 
I have to say that 80% of what I hear on the 2 meter band is very boring chit chat. But scan through the different repeaters and different communications because there is also a lot of technical talk on the 2 meter amateur radio band. So um, you might learn about, first of all, the amateur radio hobby. And you also learn about radio listening and what you can hear. And there's lots of experiments that the uh, amateur radio operators actually do. So uh, take a peek. 144 to 148 megahertz, you should scan there. Um, almost anywhere you'll hear something. Um, I remember about 15 years ago going up north to a very isolated area. And I was really surprised that I could hear a repeater in that area. And I didn't think that a repeater existed that could cover such an area, especially because it was there was a lot of mountains. I thought that it would be pretty much isolated. But um, one of the repeaters that was on the Mont Tremblant actually made it to that area because of the height of the repeater. So it shows you that even in very isolated areas, uh, pretty surprising what you can hear. Now the band plan is 144, 148 megahertz. That's for North America, but I know that it differs in different countries in the world. So depending on where you are, it might be a little smaller. Uh, so take a peek at that and uh, go check the band plan. A uh, very detailed band plan on the ARRL.org website if you want to learn more. So, I uh, hope you enjoy these series of videos on the amateur radio bands in VHF and UHF. So, uh, and that you'll listen to those amateur radio operators. 73.